book 235. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about the real reason George Bush invaded Iraq and murdered Saddam Hussein. That's right. The real reason George Bush invaded Iraq and murdered Saddam Hussein. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, a long, long time ago, an American president named George W. Bush, the 43rd president of the United States, used lies, deception, and manipulatory tactics to justify an invasion of the country called Iraq today. This invasion was the first stage of the Iraq war, and this war saw the murder of Iraq's fifth president, a man named Saddam Hussein. According to U.S. President George W. Bush and U.K. Prime Minister Tony Blair, the invasion was necessary in order to disarm Iraq of weapons of mass destruction, to end Saddam Hussein's support for terrorism, and to free the Iraqi people. George Bush made these outlandish claims of weapons of mass destruction, even though the U.N. inspection team led by Hans Blix declared openly that it had found absolutely no evidence of the existence of weapons of mass destruction just before the start of the invasion. Nevertheless, in March of 2003, the U.S.-led invasion sent 130,000 American soldiers, 45,000 British soldiers, 2,000 Australian soldiers, and 194 Polish soldiers into Iraq. One of my ancestors, no less, was living in Iraq when this invasion took place, and they have passed down directly to me from mouth to ear the real reason George Bush invaded Iraq. I was told that the claim of Iraq being in possession of weapons of mass destruction was indeed a lie, but it was the type of lie that contained a kernel of truth. Indeed, the world population believed that when George Bush and his allies said that Saddam Hussein possessed weapons of mass destruction, they were referring to nuclear weapons. And as the UN inspectors pointed out, Saddam did not possess any nuclear weapons and he was not developing any. However, Saddam did possess what could be called weapons of mass destruction. Several years before the invasion, a team of Iraqi archaeologists were digging around the great ziggurat of Ur, and they discovered a horde of ancient tablets written in cuneiform inside of a hidden chamber. After they deciphered the tablets, they realized that they described the process of manipulating all manner of stones and rocks using complex chemical concoctions. It became clear to the scientists that the ancients could not only create various types of earth, stones, and rocks, much like man can create concrete today, but they could also disrupt the chemical makeup of existing stones in order to turn them from stone into liquid and then back into stone again. It appeared that these methods were employed in ancient Egypt while quarrying stones to build their pyramids. Not only could they make stones that were indistinguishable from naturally occurring stones, but they could also transform natural stones into a liquid state and then harden them back into their natural state. American spies, which were working for the CIA, observed these tablets being found, and it was determined in America that if a man possessed technology which could alter the very composition of Earth itself, then that technology could be weaponized into what they deceptively called weapons of mass destruction. So, President George W. Bush invaded Iraq in order to seize these tablets and weaponize this technology for the Western world powers. And so, the morning motivation of today is the real reason George Bush invaded Iraq and murdered Saddam Hussein. In life, you must learn to listen to what is being said, but also listen to what is not being said. The best liars and manipulators will always mix truth with falsehood, and they will always employ double talk. They will say specific things to intentionally divert your mind away from their evil intentions. Today, beware of those with a slick tongue and sneaky ways. The ones who say one thing but mean another. Analyze all that you hear and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. To order books by the author Matthew Daniels, search Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbighern.com.